Hi, my name is Justin, one of the hosts on the Bread of Life talk show, and I am very excited to be here talking with all of you. So first of all, everyone, and yes, that's including you, everyone is made in the image and likeness of God. But is that the way that you view yourself? This perspective in this day and time has been drowned out and pushed to the side by the media, friends, family, and let's be honest, even the church makes that statement just sound like a cliche. The truth, the Bible says that we are made in the image of God. But on the other hand, our eyes are exposed to violence and hatred, greed, hypocrisy, and so much more. So how does this demonstrate the Bible to be true? Don't worry, these are the kinds of topics on the Bread of Life show we like to talk about. I honestly believe that everyone wants and deserves to understand this all-time top-selling book called the Bible. I remember growing up watching the conduct and behavior of the Christians around me. Just to be honest, it was horrible. If this how it is to be a Christian, count me out. And many of you may have had some of the same experience, or maybe you have had a positive experience and just lack understanding. In both cases, we got you covered, so don't worry. I used to tell my sensational sibling all the time it was more fun telling the truth than telling a lie. She would breathe hard, squirm in her seat, and make faces when I told her the truth. But this is what was happening. Light was coming into a dark place. When light comes into darkness, this causes the body to react in some strange and peculiar ways. I also recall people taking the Bible out of context and then trying to force their twisted Bible verse on me. Now this is just wrong, and this will also push people away from Christianity. Allow me to give an example. Many people would take a biblical word or phrase then use a worldly definition to it. This does not mean you cannot use a dictionary, but rather you must use the word in the context of the Bible and not take it out of context or apply personal feelings to the word. So let's take the word jealous. When you read that God is a jealous God in the Bible, if you take the word out of context, you can say that God is envious and he's envious of people, which makes him sound insecure. Then one would say, you don't want to worship that kind of God. But if you take the word jealous in the context of the scriptures, you discover that God reveals to you that he loves you so much that he does not want to share you with anything or anybody. Because all things besides God is created. And God definitely does not want to share you with the devil. God is revealing jealous as a marriage when a husband does not want to share his wife with another man or another or other man. Now, now you can view God in the appropriate context and not the worldly, carnal, misconstrued ways the world tried to pressure you to accept. This is where we give the word. Talk about the word and eat the word on the Bread of Life show with your host, the sensational sibling, Justin.